ever skydive onto a moving train in a tropical downpour? Nope. Neither have I. Ron, open the hatch. Now, when the train is directly below us, we'll jump. Brisa! Woohoo! Ah. I owe you one! But I told you, I never miss a thing! We'll get in through here! Now we're even. Afternoon, folks. Agent Sam Snow. And Agent Kit Casey. Animal, Animal detectives. detectives. We're from Clade, and we're here to solve a mystery, little buddy. Uh, okay. Do you know where we can find the engineer? The engineer's right over there. I mean, I think that's her. I I wouldn't know. Why uh, why would I know? <laughs> there she is! Can you tell us what happened, ma'am? Blah 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 blah. Nope, those are definitely not words. Oh, you gotta help her! I'm just the assistant engineer. I don't know how to drive this thing myself. We're on it. Sam, check this out. <gasps> a clue. Huh? It looks more like a hat. It is a hat and a clue. But it's not my hat or the engineer's. Exactly. Whoever attacked the engineer probably left it behind. Hmm. Interesting pattern. Aha! Oh, thank goodness! Clade is here! I'm Agent Sam Snow. And I'm Agent Kid Casey. Mr. Hermit Crab. Please, call me Hermes. <laughs> Mr. Hermit Crab was my father. All right, Hermes, can you tell us what happened here? Well, as you can see, I've kind of outgrown my shell. Which means you're looking for a new one to live in. I found a new one, but then I turned my back and it vanished! Can you describe the missing shell for me? A picture will help our search. Sure. It was a perfect blue spiral shell. Nice and roomy, fancy kitchen. But now it's gone. Sounds like it could have been stolen. Don't worry. We can identify the thief by their footprints. <laughs> oh. Clue box, go! Good boy. Show us who did this. Huh? What's wrong? Can it identify the footprints? Hmm. Maybe the problem isn't that it can't identify the footprints. There aren't any footprints at all. Hmm. Maybe the wind blew them away. Better ask around the neighborhood. I'm sure someone's seen the shell. Don't worry, Hermes. We'll get to the bottom of this. And then you'll get your new home back. We'll be back soon. Ah. Excuse me. Have you seen this stolen shell? No, but last night, someone stole my blue roses. Hmm. Excuse me, have you seen this shell or these roses? No, but somebody stole my blue mailbox. I mean, how am I supposed to get junk mail to throw away without a mailbox? Hmm. Excuse me. Hello. Have you seen this shell? Or these roses? Or this mailbox? Uh-uh. 
Are you missing anything? Uh-uh. In that case, if you wouldn't mind answering a couple of questions. <gasps> Sam, my pen's disappeared. I'm starting to think this case is bigger than just a missing shell. I'll say, I love that blue pen. But who would take all those things? And why? Let's go over the facts again. What's missing? A blue shell, blue roses, a mailbox, also blue, and my blue pen. Which I couldn't draw because I didn't have a pen. Whiskers, that's it! Everything that's gone missing is blue! Sam, I think we've got a blue bandit on the loose. And you know how we catch a blue bandit? With blue bait. We have the island surrounded with our clue bots. Everything they see, we can see too. They're watching the vines, the surface of the water, and even the air. If anything tries to swing, swim, or fly onto the island, our clue bots will spot it. So, what do we do now? Now, we wait. Bots didn't see anything. <gasps> what in the holy world? My fruities! How did it get onto the island without being seen? Oh, this doesn't make any sense. If it's not coming by land, or air, or the water surface, it must be coming from... Under the water! Cluebot, go! If it's under there, we'll find it. What was that? It looked like it was walking along the bottom. Whatever it is, it's moving fast. I can't watch. Where'd it go? Ah! Bluebot! <gasps> what happened? What was that thing? Look, Sam. Fang marks. That was definitely the fruit thief. So that's how it's been getting onto the island. Going underwater. <gasps> Over there! <gasps> Wait, now the noises are coming from that way! It's always one step ahead of us. So let's not take any steps. Stand very still, Kit, and listen. <gasps> it's heading into the water! Gotta borrow this! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Got him! Careful, Kit! We don't know what we're dealing with here! It could be. Hi the, the mouse, mouse dear? Huh? Oh, hey guys! Did you find that fruit thief yet? <laughs> I think we just did. Easy, Kit. You'll be fine as soon as the venom wears off. Bill, Jill, can you keep an eye on her while I figure out what's going on with those Gila monsters? Yeah, sure thing, Sam. Thanks. Be back soon. Sam, you know what? What? You're a nice kitty cat. <laughs> 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 been going on? Well, they've been fighting and rolling around wrecking stuff since, oh, around breakfast time. Well, that's good. Maybe they'll get tired soon. I wouldn't be so sure of that. Gila monsters have amazing stamina. They can keep this up all day. And the next day. And the night. Kit, you should be resting. But thanks. <laughs> Gotta go! There you go! 
Any idea why they're fighting? No idea. I just know that soon the whole town's gonna be nothing but a pile of rubble. Don't worry, Clade is on the case. Uh-oh. Oh my... Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Quick, get down! I'm stuck! Cat! Well, Sam is real confused now. He really misses his partner. Maybe she'd know what to do. Would you guys cut it out? Sorry. Come on, Sam. You can figure this out. Nobody knows why those Gila monsters are fighting all over town. But we do know where they've been fighting. Hey, maybe that's a clue. Clue bots, show me all the damage these Gila monsters have done. Hmm, all the fighting has taken place around this one spot. Maybe it's important. Maybe it's a pile of rocks? Ooh, a pile of rocks. That's it. Kit, you really need to rest. Sam, those rocks are exactly the kind of place Gila monsters like to live. And I bet they both want to live there. Maybe I'd like to live there too. Whiskers, that's it! The Gila monsters are fighting over a home! <gasps> oh no! That giant boulder is the most important monument in our town! <laughs> So much for their new home. Well, on the bright side, now they have nothing to fight over. <gasps> Could it be? Michael Wife! Oh, Wally! Wally! <laughs> Good day, citizens! Wally Bangler, Nature Ranger, at your service. Wally, what are you doing here? I heard there was trouble, so I flew in to help. <laughs> Speaking of helping... Wally, did you see any mysterious lights while you were flying over the forest? Hmm, mysterious lights? Hey, come to think of it, I did see a mysterious light, and it was coming from... right over there! Let's roll. The light's just up ahead. If we're really quiet, we can sneak up on the USO and... Oh, sorry. Oh. <sighs> sorry again. Oh, I'll be quiet now. <laughs> Wally, dear! The dishwasher's acting up again! Not now, Mum. <sighs> sorry! Come on. Uh, ha! Got the USO. Huh? Evening. Well, ain't that something. There's no USO here, just a campsite. That's right. Say hello, campers. Hello. I guess the fireflies were seeing the light from these lanterns. Hmm. Hey, would you folks mind turning these lights down a bit? <laughs> Not at all. It's bedtime anyway. Come on, campers. Lights out. Ooh. Well, that was easy. Another creature case closed. Hey, thanks for your help, Wally. You're welcome. Marshmallow? All right, Fireflies. Those campers' lights won't bother you anymore. <laughs> Let's rock! I'm not so sure it was the campers after all. Look! <gasps> it's the USO! Um, what is that thing? Come on, we can't let it get away. <laughs> what in the woolly world? The USO is gone! You need to get Sweetie out of there, now! I solved the mystery of why the bees moved into Ron. Their old hive was destroyed by a honey badger! Sweetie! Whiskers!
Because that's it! That's why he knew where the old hive was, and that's why he was so eager to help us! He wants to eat all the honey! Phil, it's you again. Stay back, or the queen gets the stink spray. I'm just here for the honey. If you spray, we sting. Sam, do something! <laughs> okay, everyone calm down. No one needs to get stung or sprayed. Sweetie, your sting meter is almost full. You can't take any more stings. Why don't you forget the honey and leave now? No deal, Sam. I'm a honey badger. I'm gonna get that sweet, sweet honey one way or another. Your Majesty, what if you gave Sweetie some honey? Oh, if word gets out that I'm giving honey away, all kinds of animals will come after it. Work with me here, Your Majesty. You did turn our jet into a sticky using mega hive. I had no choice. We love our old hive until he destroyed it. Your Majesty, what about a trade? A trade? Yep. We could fix up your old hive, and Sweetie here could protect it from all those other animals. You could pay him in honey. Interesting. Sweetie here would make a great guard. He isn't afraid of anyone. Yes, I think that could work out quite nicely. Not so fast. I got better things to do than guard a bunch of bees. Hey, I understand. If you're not up for the job, we'll find someone tougher. What? I'm the toughest guy around. Your Majesty, you got yourself a bodyguard. Your Majesty, how's it going with the new hive? Couldn't be better. Now that we aren't worried about honey thieves, production is way up, which means there's plenty of extra honey for Sweetie. You know he really is sweet deep down. <laughs> Sam, Kit, I gotta thank you both. This is the best job I ever had. Mmm, honey. Milk. Hey, keep moving, buddy. <gasps> Seems like this arrangement is working out, which means... Another creature case closed! closed. Mr. Roots, make some noise! It's working! Mangled hearts! Keep steering it toward the wall! Now! Hey! hey. Uh, okay, nice get fear! You can do this! Whiskers, it worked! Now, let's see what this sand serpent really is. How's it going, everybody? That's the sand serpent. Sand serpent? Where? Where? Wait, hold on. What's a sand serpent? Of course. Sam, it's a pink fairy armadillo. A pink fairy? Oh, now who's telling tall tales? Hey, how come you know I'm a pink fairy armadillo? It all adds up. Pink fairy armadillos have fur, claws for digging, and they're rarely seen above ground. Let me guess. You live over there in the hills. Yep, except when it rains. Then my tunnels fill up with water. Oh, it's terrible. So I come down here. Just like the legend says. But it's not raining now. Why come back to town? Oh, I'm sorry for scaring everyone. But earlier, I tasted the most delicious, amazing fruit I've ever had. And I want more. <laughs> what? He's talking about my melons. No wonder you stuck around. I bet those tasted a lot better than the insects and grubs you usually eat. Ugh, you can say that again. I've never had anything like them. You hear that, folks? I got the only fruit in town that's Pink Fairy Armadillo approved. Oh, yeah. Mr. Root, if our little friend promises not to cause any more trouble, do you think you could give him some melon seeds? <gasps> then I could grow my own melons. <gasps> it's a deal. Thanks! Hasta la vista! Uh, That's one more creature case closed. closed! And thanks to you, we all faced our fears. Well, not quite. <laughs> I'm Agent 
Sam Snow. And I'm Agent Kid Casey. Sorry guys, it's up to you now. Stay cool out there, Agent. You can count on us, Director.